one of the one of the hallmarks of your your tenure, CEO, has in fact been the move away from from India and transforming Tata from an Indian business into a true multinational. What's prompted the move abroad, and, and what were some of the biggest challenges you faced in doing so? To a great extent, it was the the issue of having the need to grow and a need to take a view that you'd grown in India in some cases with a fairly substantial market share, and that as a group we ought to look beyond the shores of India to another economic cycle uh, in which we would operate. Now that has its pluses and minuses, we didn't ever uh, foresee that Europe would go through the downturn it, it did, right. and that was where our major investments lay. So uh, it was a quest for growth and, and changing the ground rules to say that we could grow by acquisitions which earlier we had never done. The international expansion, though, was not without some controversy. And aside from the economic rationale, there was also emotional consequences. And I'm thinking here of the acquisition of Tetley Tea. Yeah. Uh, the idea of a, a beloved British tea brand being bought by an Indian company must have st stirred some hearts in England. And uh, if, if they did, uh, it was quite quiet and dignified. The more vocal one was. <laughs> And the more vocal bone was when Jaguar and Land Rover got acquired. Right. Uh, and that was far more emotional and far more uh, visible. Uh, different, different reactions from different quarters. Uh, some, in, some concern that an Indian company was going to take over uh, a vaulted two very venerable brands. Uh, what were they going to do with it? Yeah. Ford had made and not been able to make a profit with them. So what was this Indian company that had no experience in the premium car segment do with uh, such a company? Uh, concerned by the workers that we were going to close down plants and move them to India. Uh, and a general feeling that in England that another British brand was gone. Right. Uh, Quite frankly, all we did after we got involved was to tell the management of the company to make their own destiny, that we'd support them in terms of what they wanted to do. And of course, the marketplace has been a very conducive to what we have done. Right. So I, I think the Jaguar Land Rover thing was much more uh, fiery than right. the tea. And there's got very very quietly and, in, as I said, in a very dignified way. No doubt the, the British stiff upper lip was um, <laughs> what they applied yes. there. 